Hey guys, this is Mike from HOA Vacant Lists. Um, I just wanted to come on here real quick and record a video tutorial uh, to show you guys how to stack lists in Excel uh, for free. There's a lot of list stacking services that are popping up out there that do exactly what I'm about to show you, except they're going to charge you $100 a month, $200 a month, or just some kind of unnecessary price tag when really all you need is Excel. I'm going to show you guys how to do this really quick. Um, if you don't know what list stacking is, it's just when you take two lists. In this case, we're taking a vacant property list and a tax delinquent list, and we're going to stack them together and see which records are showing up on both lists. And as a wholesaler, the significance of that is obviously that if a property is on a vacant property list and it's on a tax delinquent list, so if it's vacant and tax delinquent, that's usually a good indication that there's going to be some motivation there and we're going to find a motivated seller, hopefully, especially when a property is vacant and it's tax delinquent um, and it's been tax delinquent for several years. So typically what that means in my experience is if a property is vacant and they're you know eight years behind on their taxes, five years behind, whatever the case may be, and there's a big unpaid balance, it means that the owner probably passed away. It's a sign of neglect. It's a sign that uh, maybe it was an inherited property and the heirs don't know what to do with it. They can't keep up with the taxes and it's going to go to foreclosure soon. It's These are just leads you want to target, right? So um, I could go on and on talking about list stacking, talking about you know process for targeting these leads and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to show you how to stack these lists in Excel. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So hopefully this will add some value for you guys. Um, so first things first, what you want to do is we're going to take our two lists. This is a vacant property list. I uh, pulled it from my service, HOA Vacant List. If you want to go place an order uh, with us, you can go to www.hoavacantlist.com. I go above and beyond with this service to make sure that our data is up to date. It's the most up to date on the market out of any other vacant provider out there. Uh, we pull from multiple sources. We use an extra vacancy verification model that helps us to further prove if, if a property is vacant and we're updating our records every single week. Um, little quick backstory: the reason I started this service was because about a year and a half ago or so I was looking for vacant property lists and vacant property data for my own real estate business and I was going to REI Pro and PropStream and a couple of private sources on uh, Facebook and they were just they were just giving me unreliable data. I would call on these leads thinking they're vacant, thinking I had some good data. And I kept finding people that were like, what are you talking about? The property's not vacant. Or it was, yeah, it was vacant like six months ago. We sold it, you know, several months ago. Basically, I was just hitting all these dead ends or I was too little too late. And that just doesn't cut it for me. You know, I it's just, I, yeah, I was paying $99 a month for subscription. I guess you get what you pay for. It is what it is. It's not like it was a huge investment lost, but... I was more focused on quality data. You know, I want to get these deals. I don't want to just waste my time paying these monthly subscriptions to get nowhere, right, with bad data. So that just compelled me to go out there and figure out something. I was like, I need to find out how can I get good vacant property data, reliable vacant property data that's up to date. And so I jumped through some hoops. I built some relationships. I made things happen. I set up a whole sophisticated, robust system for aggregating the data together from multiple sources and verifying it through our address verification source that we found. And uh, basically, that's where HOA Vacant List came from. Funny story about the name. HOA, by the way, does not mean Homeowners Association. I know some people confuse it for that. To be honest with you guys, it, this was just a rush job kind of service. Um, HOA Vacant List, the HOA actually stands for Home Offer America. That's my real estate business. Didn't put a lot of thought in it, into it, to be honest. I never thought that it would have grown into what it has grown into and picked up the following that it's picked up. But I appreciate all of you guys, all of my loyal customers, all the people that keep shouting us out on Facebook, all the great reviews. You guys are great. Uh, you make it worth it. I love continuing to do this and help you guys and add value. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. So anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to take this vacant property list. I just picked, uh, I pulled a vacant property list from Park County, Wyoming, just because it's a small list. It's it's just a tiny little county. I didn't think I'd be stepping on anyone's toes by putting this data out there. I don't personally know anybody who's wholesaling in Park County, uh, Park County, Wyoming. If you are, 
I do apologize if I'm putting all these records out there for the whole world to see, but um, maybe consider it a gift. If you guys are looking for some vacant property records in Park County, Wyoming, here you go. They're all right here. Here's some phone numbers. Have at it. So anyway, uh, what you want to do is you want to select all of the data on your one list and, and Excel. And to do that on a Mac, you can press Command A. It's going to select all of the data. You go up here to the Data tab. You're going to press, press Remove Duplicates. Um, my list has headers. You want to leave that checked, assuming your list does have headers. In this case, it does. Um, and then you want to unselect all those columns because we're not looking for duplicates in any of these columns. We don't want to remove those. Uh, we just want to remove the duplicates from column A, in this case, which is the vacant property address column. So we're going to select column A. Okay, so 13 duplicate values were found and removed. So now this vacant list has no duplicates in the property address column. So we have all unique properties right here, which is good. That's what we want. So now we want to do the same thing with our second list. So we're going to go to the tax delinquent list. And by the way, this is not the actual tax de delinquent list for pro uh, what's it called? Park County, Wyoming. This is just a random list that I put together that's going to pretend to be the tax delinquent list for the sake of this demo. So if you've ever pulled a county tax delinquent list, you know that it's much different looking than this. It's going to have different data, different columns. It's going to be probably way messier. It's going to have a lot more records. Um, and of any of the lists, the tax delinquent list from the county is going to have the most duplicates if you guys have experience with that. Uh, so you definitely want to do this trick for that list. So we're going to do the same thing. Command A, select all, remove duplicates. We're going to unselect the other columns that we don't want to remove duplicates for. And we're just going to do column A, which is the property address column. As you can see in this fake list, I uh, kind of just sprinkled some duplicates in here just for the sake of the demo. Remove. And then four duplicate values were found and removed. So, okay. We're almost done. So the tax delinquent list is now free of duplicates and duplicate properties. So what we want to do is we just want to take one of the property address columns from from either of the list in this case I'll just do this tax list so we're gonna select the entire column all the data if you don't know how to do that you can just click here at the top on the letter and it'll select the whole column command C copy it we're gonna go back to the vacant list and you just wanna go anywhere off to the side of the vacant list you don't wanna go under if you go under and you paste this data under it's going to mess up like the sorting that we're going to be doing later. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So just anywhere off to the side, we'll just go in column O. We're going to command V and paste it in there. So this is our tax delinquent properties. And we want to also select our vacant properties in this list. So how do we do that? We leave this selected and highlighted. On a Mac, you just hold command down and you select this column and it's going to highlight both. Okay. So... Now with both highlighted, we go up to Home. We're going to go to Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules, Duplicate Values. And this is where the magic happens. So uh, it should say this. If it says anything different, just change it to this. But Format Only Unique or Duplicate Values. You can change the color if you want. I like to go green. I don't know why. I just like green. Press OK. And the ones that pop up in green, those are going to be the ones you're going for. So that means that they're in your other uh, column lists that are your other property column that we just pasted off to the side, right? So that's all the good ones right there. So we want to now filter those to the top. I already have my filter tabs up here on this top row. If you don't have that, just highlight the top row, go to sort and filter, make sure that filter is checked. All these little tabs will pop up. So now we can go to the property address column. We can sort it by the color up here, cell color, light green. Okay, now all these 20 records right here, these are going to be your vacant and tax delinquent. These are going to be the results of your stacked lists. So we're going to select them, we're going to copy them, go down here to vacant tax list, little tab that I created on a separate sheet just for the sake of organization, and we're going to paste them in here. We don't need the property address column anymore, so we're just going to delete that. Okay, and Command A, select all, format, auto fit column width. 
Okay, here's our list, guys. So this is going to be your list of targeted, targeted leads. Now keep in mind, again, this is not a real tax delinquent list. This does not mean that these leads are actually vacant and tax delinquent, but if this was a real tax delinquent list, they would be. So these are going to be your highly targeted leads. This is going to be the smaller but targeted list of whammy properties that you want to go for. These could be home runs. These could be the juiciest deals that you get. And they're probably going to be messier title, guys. They're probably going to be a little harder to track down the owner or the relatives, but it's worth it, guys. If it's tough to do, it's going to be tough for your competition. And a lot of people don't even bother doing this stuff, guys. So this is where the gold's at. Make sure you're putting in the effort. So pretty much that's that, guys. Um, hopefully you like this. Hopefully this will save you some time and some money and get you on the right track to get in your next deal. And uh, I hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, I will be sure to share some of my other little tricks and strategies with you in the future. I'll make sure I upload some more videos in the future. But uh, for now, that's all I got. So until next time.